People wonder what happens to diesel when it's cold weather. It's really frosty here at Berriman this morning. That's just some olive oil that was in the house at room temperature. And it's nice and uh, liquid. If we come over here to the barbie, yep, got the barbie going this morning. Here's the same olive oil that was sitting outside at the barbecue. All thick and virtually turned to a jelly. Well, if you can imagine diesel a little bit similar when it's not winter diesel. You can imagine what's going to happen. You will get stuck and the vehicle just won't start, full stop. But funnily enough, pour a bit of hot water over the engine, over the injector line slowly, over the fuel filter and all that stuff. I doubt your tank would be all like that. It'd be probably more up in the small areas like the lines. And suddenly the car starts again or even just leave it for a couple of hours until the sun gets on it with the bonnet up. But there you go, you know, virtually like jelly. Diesel, of course, waxes. The wax precipitates out of the diesel and it blocks everything up. But it's only temporary until it warms up again, so don't panic. But here's a really prime example. Go back and get the, uh, you know, room temperature one. Here we go. So if we leave that other one in the sun for a while, it'll be um, absolutely fine and, and ready to use again. So there's a bit of a rundown of what happens to oily stuff. And very similar to your diesel in cold frosty weather if you probably could uh, time capsule yourself maybe from far north Queensland down here to the snowy mountains and leave it overnight with that sort of tropical diesel you'd uh, end up with all that uh, jelly stuff until it warms up so just remember if you're going down to the snowy mountains in New South Wales and Victoria just probably don't go with such a full tank of fuel and when you get much closer into those alpine regions fill up with fuel so you've got alpine fuel I'm Andrew from Berrimah Diesel on this frosty morning here at Berrimah. You can see more of these videos on our Facebook, YouTube channel or berrimahdiesel.com. Now I'm going to get back to that lovely bacon and eggs.